हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द सीरीज ऑफ जेई मेन प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन ऑफ द चैप्टर फंक्शन इन टूडे सेशन विल सी अ प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम 2019 थाउजेंड जेई मेन पेपर वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन वी हैव अ फंक्शन व्हिच इज डिफाइंड एज एफ ऑफ एक्स इज एक्स बाय वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर एंड वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द रेंज ऑफ एफ सो वॉट डू मीन बाय फाइंडिंग द रेंज ऑफ एफ दैट मीन्स यू टू फाइंड वॉट वैल्यूज एफ ऑफ एक्स कैन टेक Previous session we have seen the problems on domain. What do you mean by domain? What values x can take is domain, and what values f of x can take is a range. Now this question is very simple. By doing some analytical observation of the function f of x equal to x by one plus x square, you can come to the conclusion without solving the problem. Observe. That x by one plus x square, whatever value you take of x, the numerator is always going to be smaller than the denominator. That means the value is always going to be between somewhere between minus one and one. So when you come to even this conclusion, you can very easily eliminate option number B and option number C. Now just observe option number D says value f of x cannot be equal to zero, but if you put x का value zero zero by any number is zero, so value of f of x can be zero also. That means option number D is also eliminated. That very moment you realize that your answer have to be option number A. Problem solved, isn't it easy? But this is 2019. ठीक है? maybe option may be not framed in this way so you should know the traditional method also to solve this question but if you liked this method make sure you hit that like button and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe let me take it further and please comment if you like the method please comment that you really like this method okay so how to solve it in a traditional way so what i do here is what we do is we take y equal to x by 1 plus x square we just cross multiply simplify so if i just cross multiply simplify what we get here is we get y plus y x square equal to x let me make it a proper quadratic equation type of thing so what we get is we get y x square minus x plus y equal to 0 now if this is a quadratic equation we know that the discriminant have to be greater than equal to 0 right what do you mean by that that means b square minus 4 ac have to be greater than equal to 0 so for this question what is your a your a is y your b is minus 1 and your c is y so we know have to make sure that b square minus 4 ac have to be greater than 0 that means what That means minus one square minus four into y into y have to be greater than equal to zero. That means one minus four y square have to be greater than equal to zero. Now this step is what you need to understand nicely to make that proper wavy curve thing. What I do here is I'm just taking first minus one common. If I take minus one common, what I get is I get four y square minus one have to be greater than equal to zero. Now, if I remove this minus sign, what will happen? I hope everybody understand that this sign here will get reversed, right? That means observe my next step very nicely. I am writing four y square minus one is less than or equal to zero. What I did is I just removed this minus sign, so this sign greater than sign got changed to less than sign, right? I hope this is clear to everybody. Now I just simplify this. You can very easily write this as 2y minus 1, 2y plus 1 have to be less than equal to 0. That means y minus half, y plus half have to be less than equal to 0. So let's draw the wavy curve. We have at value half and minus half. This will be equal to 0, right? So let me just put it down. Minus half and half, we draw the loop. Plus from the right hand side, minus plus. 
so the value is negative right this function is negative that means the value of y have to be between minus half and half so we again got the same answer value of y that is the range f of x is between minus half and half so your answer is again option number a only okay you should know both the methods see if you have to make sure that you do well in the entrance exam shortcut will help but not always so your conceptual part of the problem also have to be strong and your short tricks also have to be at right place okay if both these things are together nobody can stop you from doing very good in the j mains paper okay concept plus short trick both have to be mastered this is the key to get good score in j mains that's the right way to learn make sure you learn it in a right way and get a very good score